What's going on today, guys? You know what today is? It's January 1st, 2020. Well, that's a total lie. It's actually, uh, I believe it's December 29th, 2019, but by the time I post this, it will be 2020. So, um, Happy New Year's. I figured uh, I would do a quick little vlog, and I'm always shooting in the house, and I figured, since I'm always shooting in the house, let's see, I'll adjust that a bit. And since I'm always shooting in the house, I figured I would uh, just grab the camera, put it on the Gorillapod, and uh, come outside for a few minutes and just talk off the cuff to the camera a little bit about 2019, 2020, and what I learned on doing, with doing uh, YouTube stuff. So yeah, uh, 2020 is here now. And uh, I've been going at it hard on YouTube for the last year. I've actually, out of every year that I've been on YouTube, this is the year where I've actually put out the most content and I've seen the most growth. I've just put the effort into doing it. I can totally feel garbage under my feet here. I'm actually just behind my house where it's just like woods. Um, but yeah, so 2019 is when I put out the most content that I've ever put out. And I've had the most growth this year. And uh, I feel like 2020 is going to be a really awesome year. Um, but with 2019, uh, just a little recap on the things that uh, I liked and maybe have done wrong. Um, number one, I think the coolest thing was actually uh, working with uh, Stone Age picks. That felt really awesome. On top of uh, being a really cool experience, those picks are absolutely killer. So it's nice to actually be able to work with a small little company who is actually putting out an amazing product. They're handmade picks made of agate stone. He uses other kinds of stone and stuff too uh, to make these things, but uh, he makes a killer product. And I think that was one of my favorite things that I actually had worked on this year in terms of uh, doing like little reviews and whatnot. Some of the other cool things uh, that I really liked were uh, just working with new people. One of the things that I said uh, in last year's video that I would like to work with vocalists and uh, just do more collaborative work. And uh, I feel like that has paid off some. Uh, it started when I did the uh, Mercenary Man cover with uh, Alessio Monticelli and uh, Valerio Gaiani over in uh, Italy, which is, I think that turned out really good. I met Alessio years back over in South Korea. So it was really cool that uh, we've been collaborating on a few things too. Also, is this a better selfie angle? I have no idea. How do you vlog? I don't even know. I wanted to do a little series on Instagram stories of how not to vlog, which I thought would be kind of entertaining. So other things, uh, so, so maybe I should talk about like my favorite videos and my least favorite video. So I'll start with my least favorite video first. Least favorite video was the one about how Facebook sucks. Um, I didn't feel like I executed that video very well. Um, but one of the things I said I would do is that if I had an idea and I was creating it to put it out in the world anyway. And the reason I think people should put their ideas out into the world anyway in that sense is that you're not going to get better if you wait to be perfect, you're better off sucking now, putting it out and then sucking less later. I didn't really care for that video, but I did it anyway and I don't actually regret doing it for a second. Uh, it was still good practice to be uh, doing this kind of stuff. I mean, here we are vlogging today, kind of in the same style. As for my favorite videos of this year, I'm, I'm torn between uh, two. I have two projects. So one was Moonlight Desires Meets Metal with Valerie Weber. I just thought that that turned out super good. I see a lot of little flaws in the video and whatnot, especially from uh, my camera, which is the one I'm using right now. Uh, because this one I find easier to vlog on than my new one. Um, however, I think that she really just killed it vocal wise. It brought to life this thing that I had sitting on my computer for two years and I never thought I'd put it out into the world and then I met her it's like man this sounds awesome so super stoked about that one however the other video that I really like was the Bauer Metal Riff Battle Part 1. I had that idea at my desk at work one day and I was thinking, why am I here right now? I could be doing this thing. Like I knew I had a good idea. And so I was gonna program the drums myself and I thought, no, why don't we get an actual drummer? I got a hold of Alessio who I was just talking about. And uh, Alessio was kind enough to actually record some drums for me, send me some MIDI files. And I chose a 45 second section and sent to a bunch of people. I had submissions in like two days before I even had my own done. I was like, hey, you guys are 
beasts, man. That was awesome. And I, I didn't even know once I had that all, like everybody's video, how I was gonna put that together. And I just did something and I was like, man, this is good. And it went so awesome. So thank you guys so much for doing that. That is one of my favorite things. And there's gonna be a part two of that coming out here soon as well. So look forward, to, just be looking forward to that. Uh, I already got a few submissions now, so it's gonna come out. And there's gonna be a whole other collab series coming out after that with a different drummer. So just hold up. There's gonna be more chances to be on the channel and uh, we're gonna do this and grow together. So I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, 2020 is coming around. So if there's anything I can say is that keep putting out whatever ideas you've got. Um, you're better off sucking now than never doing it at all. And. Uh, Number two, work with people. Get on Instagram, that is an amazing platform to be on. Uh, whether people say it's the most depressing thing or not, you get to choose what you follow. There's a really good guitar, heavy metal community. There's all kinds of communities on there for stuff, whether it's like cars or photography, it's all out there. So just find the right things to follow, the right people. And Instagram's a great place, so use it as a tool and get out there, talk to people. Remember, it happens in the DMs, so get out there, get on that platform as well. Um, I just want to say, just uh, there's so many people to give out a huge shout out to for this year that I'm not even going to try to list all of them. There's just way, way too many folks. So, you know what? It's getting a little bit cold outside here, and I've got some other things I, I have to do for the day. So, I'm going to just end with this. Happy New Year. Uh, I'm gonna have some new videos out really, really soon. In fact, I've got a list of like 30, so I've got some work to do. So, you know, click the subscribe button, uh, click all the notification bells, all any of the videos that I got listed over here, and uh, hit me up on Instagram, do all that kind of fun stuff, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace, see us.